Pep Guardiola has reinvented his system once again this season. This time, Guardiola took ideas from none other than Roberto De Zerbi at Brighton in order to beat Arsenal. I'll explain what Guardiola's new system is, and how it got the best out of Kevin De Bruyne and Erling Haaland, and why it's probably the reason the pair had their best game of the season. The biggest change of Guardiola's new system came from how Manchester City built up from the back. Manchester City used a 4-2-4 formation in possession, utilizing a back four in the buildup, which is much different than what we usually see from Manchester City. Against Bayern Munich in the Champions League a week ago, Manchester City built up in their 3-2-5 system, a formation that is a staple of Pep Guardiola's system. We've seen Pep use a 3-2-5 and a 2-3-5 in possession for much of this season, and we'll see why this change to a back four was so necessary. You probably noticed that when Manchester City were in possession this game, Ederson or one of the center backs would simply sit on the ball and wait for the incoming Arsenal pressure. Most of the time, they would just sit there. That's because Manchester City was baiting Arsenal to high press them. Once Arsenal had committed to their high pressure, Manchester City would unleash a well-practiced passing sequence to easily break through the Arsenal press. We saw this quick combination a ton for Manchester City, where one player would lay it off to the third man who was making a run forward. This quick combination resulted in Holland receiving the ball with his back to goal and laying it off to De Bruyne countless times throughout the match. And what if I said that all of this was taken exactly from Brighton? Watch this Brighton goal and tell me if you see any similarities. Brighton are extremely efficient in baiting the press, using a couple of quick combinations to beat the press, and essentially having an attack that looks like a counterattack, with their players in behind. Watching this match, didn't it seem like Manchester City were always on the counterattack when they were attacking Arsenal? Exactly. You can see that Brighton were patiently waiting with the ball at their feet for the opposition to press quickly. And once the opposition committed to the press, Brain's midfielders and forwards dropped in in order to make quick 1-2 combinations and get their attackers in behind on the counterattack. That's why this forward the back system with two midfielders is so important. It allows Manchester City to create a box in midfield where Gundogan and Rodri could easily combine off of one another and then pass it forward to Holland, who could lay it off to De Bruyne. After using these quick combinations in the midfield or City not having the option to pass through the midfield, they would either find Holland or De Bruyne dropping into the midfield into space. City could also find Holland with a long ball, as he was often isolated one-on-one -on -one with Rob Holding, and you could easily see him during the game bullying Holding to leave an easy layoff to De Bruyne. It's this change in Pep's in-possession build-up to a system that really allowed Manchester City to create deadly attacks against Arsenal in the first half and the second half. Looking at Manchester City out of possession, Manchester City's press was impossible for Arsenal to deal with for most of the match. City have been using a 4-4-2 structure when defending pretty often this season. They even used it against Bayern in the Champions League last week. And it makes it very easy for Manchester City to impress aggressively, especially against Arsenal who use a 3-2-5 formation. Having those four midfielders and two attackers allows Manchester City to easily outnumber the three defenders and two midfielders that Arsenal had. City were so aggressive in their press, you often saw center backs like Diaz and Stones instructed to follow Jesus or Martinelli or other attackers into the Arsenal midfield and not let up the pressure. Rodri was also pressing extremely high for a lot of this match to match those Arsenal midfielders and their movements. Arsenal could not beat this Manchester City press because City were ready to match them man for man if their attackers dropped in to receive on any part of the field. It seemed like Arteta had no answer for this press in the second half either, which is a shame because Manchester City's press continued to prevent them from playing out of the back even into the second half. Manchester City came out with a dominant display against Arsenal and have probably ended Arsenal's title hopes for the year. Guardiola continues to reinvent his system and even take ideas from Brighton in order to be the first place team Arsenal. This just cements the idea in my mind that he is one of the greatest managers and definitely the greatest tactical manager with these game deciding changes that he can make to his system. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions to improve my tactical analysis videos, let me know.